subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for latest videos. Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the PV and TS diagram for auto cycle. So let's get started. Auto cycle is also called as the petrol cycle or it is used for petrol engines uh, and it is also called as the constant volume cycle. Now I will mention the processes first which are used in case of auto cycle. So these are the processes in case of an auto cycle. The first one is isentropic compression. Isentropic means entropy remains constant denoted by S. So S1 is equal to S2. Then it is constant volume heat addition. Volume remains constant. So V2 is equal to V3. For process 3 to 4 it is isentropic expansion. So entropy remains constant. S3 is equal to S4. At last 4 to 1 is constant volume heat rejection. So V4 is equal to V1. Now plotting the PV and TS diagram. First draw two vertical lines on the PV diagram light vertical lines these two vertical lines are representing constant volume So this is the PV diagram in which process 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 they are isentropic processes denoted by the law is PV raised to gamma is equal to constant for isentropic process. So these are isentropic curves from 1 to 2 isentropic compression where the volume goes on decreasing at initially the volume being V1 to final volume which is V2 that is the compression process and during compression the pressure goes on increasing from point 1 to point 2 then after that process 2 to 3 is the constant volume heat addition wherein volume V2 and V3 for points 2 and 3 are equal and during this process the heat is supplied so it is heat supplied at constant volume and then we can see here at point number 3 we are getting the maximum value of pressure so that is P max it is equal to P3 that is the heat supplied process then 3 to 4 is isentropic expansion and during expansion the pressure goes on decreasing and the volume goes on increasing from V3 it goes on to V4 and V1 and V4 are same being iso uh, constant volume heat rejection process so here the heat is rejected during process 4 to 1 during process 1 to 2 since it is compression process we have to supply work so work is input to the system that is the work of compression and during process 3 to 4 we get the output work from the system that would be w suffix e the work which we are getting during the expansion process next in a similar manner i would be drawing the ts diagram for that also remember the hint first 
ड्रॉ टू वर्टिकल लाइन्स लाइट वर्टिकल लाइन्स सो दीज आर द टू आइसेंट्रॉपिक प्रोसेसेस वी कैन सी दैट कंप्रेशन एंड एक्सपांशन दे आर आइसेंट्रॉपिक सो दे वुड बी रिप्रेजेंटेड ऑन दीज टू वर्टिकल लाइन्स वेर एज द हीट एडिशन एंड हीट रिजेक्शन आर एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम सो कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम लाइन्स ऑन द टी एच डायग्राम आर इनक्लाइंड एंड दोज लाइन्स आर ऑफ डाइवर्जिंग नेचर सो ब्रिंग दीज लाइन्स इन दिस फॉर्म दे शुड बी डाइवर्जिंग इन नेचर द एरिया यर शुड गो ऑन इनक्रीजिंग सो आई एल रिप्रेजेंट द प्रोसेस इज फर्स्ट वन टू टू शोज आइसेंट्रॉपिक कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस वेयर एंट्रॉपी रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट एस वन इज इक्वल टू एस टू एंड द टेम्परेचर इंक्रीजेस फ्रॉम पॉइंट टी वन टू टी टू सिंस इट इज द कंप्रेशन प्रोसेस द वर्क इज सप्लाइड टू द सिस्टम ड्यूरिंग कंप्रेशन नेक्स्ट ड्यूरिंग प्रोसेस टू टू थ्री द हीट इज एडेड एट कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम so points 2 and 3 they are on to the same constant volume line so here v2 is equal to v3 and the heat is supplied giving us the maximum temperature at point 3 so t max is equal to t3 so we can say that whenever we have an auto cycle at point number 3 we are going to get the maximum temperature and maximum pressure next after getting the maximum temperature at point 3 there is expansion process from 3 to 4 where we get the work output from the system which is the work which we are getting during the expansion process next after that from 4 to 1 is the heat rejection the heat is rejected by the system so it goes out and the temperature drops from point 4 to point 1 and here volume remains constant so v1 is equal to v4 after that i'll give the efficiency formula for auto cycle and the efficiency for auto cycle denoted by eta is equal to 1 minus 1 upon rc raised to gamma minus 1 where this rc is equal to compression ratio which is given by the cylinder volume to the clearance volume from the pv diagram from 0 to 1 it indicates the cylinder volume so v1 and clearance is from 0 to 2 so that is v2 v1 upon v2 that is cylinder volume upon clearance volume is the compression ratio so whenever we want to increase the efficiency of auto cycle we have to increase the compression ratio that will decrease this numerator and finally from 1 a less value would be subtracted and that would result in a higher efficiency so in this video we have seen how to draw the pv and ts diagram for an auto cycle if you all find my videos helpful you all can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching